I'm here with Mark Nelson of Rio Grande, and today we're talking about Big and Bold. And what I love with what you brought, Mark, is that earlier Leslie interpreted Big and Bold as using big beads, but you have a great Big and Bold project that's really just big, bold earrings using small beads. Right. <laughs> uh, bold color mm -hmm. in, in a large format. And, yeah. And um, very simple, but yet it has a powerful statement. It does so. have a And you know, big earrings? So in right now. They are. Definitely. They are very, very popular. So, what are we using for this? Basically, uh, we're just using some uh, some fabric colored crystal beads mm -hmm. and uh, sterling wire. Oh, okay. Uh, I love sterling. It's very malleable. Yeah. And uh, still retains its shape. Mm -hmm. For the big hoops, I selected a 20 gauge. It's thick enough that it's going to hold its uh, shape mm -hmm. and still allow us to be kind of lightweight, not right. real heavy. That's right, because you don't want heavy earrings. Right. Mm -hmm. um, a six inch length will yield about uh, a two inch diameter. Okay. So I just simply took some uh, 20 gauge wire and cut it down to six inches. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is make a locking mechanism um, so it can stay on the ear. Mm -hmm. And to do that, I'm going to form a loop on one end. And obviously you're cutting two of them because you're having right. a pair of earrings. Right. And with a small pair of chain nose, um, round nose, uh -huh. I'm just going to make a small loop at the very end. Mm -hmm. And then I want to center that loop by bending it back the other direction. So now I have like a, a center, mm -hmm. center hoop, and you can kind of make that real nice and round. And then on the other side, I need to make a hook. Okay. And for this, you can either use chain nose um, pliers and build a little. So you're not using an ear an ear wire. No, the, the hoop it, itself it's is going to connect to itself. Wow, right. because it's sterling. So mm -hmm. there you go. And what you need to do is make sure that these are lined up. As you can see right now, they're not going to line up. Mm -hmm. So you can take one pair of pliers, hold one end, mm -hmm. and then if you have a pair of nylon covered uh, pliers, are really nice to use because they don't mark the metal or mar right. the metal. Mm -hmm. And simply give that a twist until it's, it um, comes in line. Okay. And just want to check and make sure it's going to lock. And okay. If you have to make adjustments, now's the time to do it. Yes, before the beads are on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think this is going to stay. And you can see it's not real round right now. Mm -hmm. And as we add more beads, it'll round out more. And then in the very last step, we'll actually round it out Even and more. make it more symmetrical. Okay. So now it's time for the fun part. Fun Add part. The beads. Adding the beads. And for that, we're going to put them on a wire. Uh, mm -hmm. This is 26 gauge sterling wire, uh, a lot thinner, so to go through the holes. And also, it's very easy to wrap around the hoop. Mm -hmm. um, and for this earring, uh, it's about two feet long. Two feet long? Two feet okay. long. And what you want to do is you want to um, take one end and kind of wrap it into a coil so it's mm -hmm. easier to hold on to, and then pre-string all your beads. Oh. And for this size of hoop, it took about 20, 22 beads. Okay. And you can add more. Is that 22 for one or 22 to make Good both Good point. It's, it's 22 for one. 22 for one. Right. So you have to double that for both earrings. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when, to start this, it's easier to do, um, there again with the round nose pliers, mm -hmm. start a very, very tiny, tiny loop. Okay. Just a turn and f fish it on. And I start at. Um, oh, so it just hooks right on it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And when you use a chain nose to hold on to the wire, you get started. And just wrap it on there as tight as you can, as evenly, evenly as you can. Mm -hmm. And as you're wrapping, if you take your finger and kind of push on it, It'll so make a nice tight coil. Okay. And There's not too much space in between. Right. And it makes, makes it look more like a spring, mm -hmm. more professional. Yes. And I do about 10. And this can be as many or as few as you like. Mm -hmm. I like about a quarter inch look to it. Okay. And then once I get to a point, take a bead, send it up. And the tapered beads. Are nice because they they lay flat on one side, yeah, and they give it much kind of an added bolder mm -hmm. look because it's kind of jagged looking. And I was going to ask you about the um, the beads that you're using. They have a really pretty sort of crystal mm -hmm. appearance to them, and also the fact that it's not the briolets with the um, with the opening just on the on the top. Right. Yeah. You definitely want to use a bead that has um, a hole all the way through. Mm -hmm. uh, be it round, um, square, could probably even work. The tapered. Okay. It's important though that the hole goes all the way through to the other side. Okay. And once you have one on, 
you're going to go around the hoop about three or four times. Mm -hmm. And it's going to vary between the different kind of beads that you have. Right. And as you can see, we're ready for the next bead. There we are. Let's do it. And just to show you, we can use a different color and totally different look. I love the brown. Um, and here again, you know, in between each bead, I did mm -hmm. about three or four loops. Okay. And you just keep adding beads until you go all the way around. I love that. And also, that's like we were saying earlier, the good thing about using the silver is that the silver is more pliable. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So it's perfect. And it's stiff enough to retain its shape. Mm -hmm. It's a nice medium. It's a, a nice medium to have. Now, show us, once you have the beads and you're wrapping it, mm -hmm. then how do you kind of close it all up at the end? So after you finish all the beads up to here? Mm -hmm. uh, the, after the last bead, you want to wrap it around the hoop you know, okay. a, about the same amount of times as you did the first. Mm -hmm. And then all you're going to do is you're going to pass this through your ear okay. and then um, just close it up. That's amazing that it's all, you don't mm -hmm. even need an extra. And if you're, if you're done and it keeps wanting to come apart, you can always just kind of reshape it. That's when it. you start shaping it. Right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. That was fun. Nice well, and you. big and bold. Let's take a look at the one that you brought us, and you can see you can make it any shape you want. You can go even bigger, you know, by doing different, cutting different length of the wire also. Certainly. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be circles. They can be triangles or squares. Yeah, that's fun. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back.